Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, June 29th. Uh, we're coming on this afternoon with a very dangerous situation that's unfolding for the Windward Islands, uh, places like Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, with uh, Hurricane Barrel, which has just become a hurricane this afternoon, expected to quickly intensify and be a major hurricane as it moves through the Windward Islands uh, late tomorrow night and early Monday. So we've got about another day to get ready for this dangerous storm, dangerous hurricane force winds, the eye wall of a major hurricane passing somewhere through the Windward Islands as we go from Sunday night into Monday morning, the potential for life-threatening storm surge. So we're going to walk through all those hazards here. Here we're looking at the big picture. Here you can see Hurricane Barrel has rapidly strengthened. Remember this time yesterday, we just had had the formation of Tropical Depression 2. Now it's a hurricane with maximum sustained winds, 75 miles per hour. It's centered just over 700 miles to the east-southeast of Barbados here in the Windward Islands moving very quickly toward the west at 22 miles per hour. So it's going to be approaching the Windward Islands very quickly uh, through the night tonight, during the day Sunday and into Sunday night and Monday. So as we zoom in, we'll take a closer look. You can see the intense thunderstorm activity developing here. We've seen some microwave satellite imagery showing an eye wall developing underneath this high cloud canopy. So we are seeing a barrel continue to quickly strengthen today. And we are, it's in a very favorable environment with very warm waters, very low vertical wind shear, expecting those uh, intensification trends to continue. Um, let's take a look at the key messages here. These are the three or two or three most important points we want to take away with Barrel tonight. Uh, Barrel is expected to be a dangerous major hurricane when it moves through the Windward Islands late Sunday night or Monday, bringing uh, potentially destructive hurricane force winds in the eye wall, life-threatening storm surge. We have hurricane watches and warnings in, in effect for the Windward Islands. We'll talk about those more in just a minute. And the potential for heavy rainfall and localized flooding across portions of the Windward Islands as well as Barrel moves through. And then farther downstream, uh, Barrel is going to continue to be a hurricane as it moves through the uh, across the Caribbean Sea as we go through the early to middle portions of next week. And interest in places like Jamaica, Hispaniola, Cuba, even the Yucatan Peninsula uh, will want to monitor the progress of Barrel through the next several days. Here's what we're looking at in watches and warnings right now. We have a hurricane warning that's been issued for Barbados. We have a hurricane watch in effect for St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines down to Grenada. Everywhere in this wa hurricane watch and warning area is at risk of the eye wall of a major hurricane moving through that region uh, tomorrow night and early Monday. Also at risk of that life-threatening storm surge. We could see surge as high as five to seven feet above normal tide levels with the addition of destructive wave action on top of that storm surge. So if you live in, in Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, Grenada, listen to the advice for your local officials. You still have the rest of the night tonight and much of the day Sunday and Sunday evening to get ready. Uh, the arrival time of those tropical storm force winds is going to be during the evening hours on Barbados tomorrow night and early oh, in the end of the overnight and early morning hours in the rest of the Windward Island chain. And we could see tropical storm conditions farther to the north and south, but we're most concerned about those islands under those hurricane watches and warnings. The risk of hurricane force winds is generally roughly equal in places like Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, down to Grenada. So everybody in those areas needs to prepare as if you're going to experience the core of a major hurricane. Uh, and we look under the rainfall uh, forecast, again, widespread amounts of three to six inches in portions of Barbados and the Windward Islands, uh, which could produce localized flooding, especially in mountainous areas. Uh, we zoom out a little bit, take a look at the larger picture of what we expect Barrel to do as we go through the week next week. Barrel is expected to become a major hurricane uh, by the overnight hours tomorrow night and into Monday, continue as a major hurricane into the Eastern Caribbean, uh, passing relatively far to the south of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, could see some enhanced rainfall there, and then turn, uh, continue west-northwestward to westward across the central and northwestern Caribbean, perhaps moving close to the portions of Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, portions of Cuba, as we go from Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. So uh, interest in those areas will want to play, pay close attention to the progress of Barrel over the next several days. We are going to have the uh, both the Air Force Reserve and NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft flying into Barrel uh, early Sunday morning, give us a better idea of the uh, intensity and the size, structure, and motion of the hurricane they'll be able to use to refine our forecast and information about those hazards as we head through the rest of the weekend and into early next week. Now, that's not all we have going on across the tropics. Unfortunately, in the Atlantic, it's still a couple areas we're watching. One is a broad area of low pressure here over the Yucatan Peninsula. 
that has a 50% chance of becoming a tropical depression as it moves into the southern Gulf of Mexico over the next uh, day or so. This system is going to emerge out here in the southern Gulf and then move towards the uh, western Gulf Coast of the coast of Mexico here during the day on Sunday. We could see a short-lived tropical depression or even tropical storm form, but the main impact from this system is going to be that heavy rainfall as it moves from the Yucatan into Mexico. Otherwise, we are also looking at a, a broad area of low pressure that's formed out here in the uh, eastern tropical Atlantic. And that system, uh, as I go back to the outlook here, has a 30% chance of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next two days, but a 70% chance, a high chance of formation uh, of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm as it moves quickly across the tropical Atlantic. Uh, it could reach the uh, Windward Islands, the Lesser Antilles, uh, later next week. So this will be something we'll want to watch after barrel moves out. We could be looking at another system approaching the islands there. So again, uh, just a reminder, the key messages for barrel were the concern of a major hurricane impacting Barbados, the Windward Island chain, uh, as we go from Sunday night into Monday. Uh, with the potential for destructive hurricane force winds, life-threatening storm surge inundation. So folks in those islands, please prepare. Please uh, listen to any advice that you're given by your local government officials. And stay tuned to hurricanes.gov for more information as we go throughout the rest of the weekend and into early next week. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.